Sanko, AP Physics Experiment Number 13, Waves on a String. Students can investigate the behavior of a standing wave and how tension and linear density affect its period and wavelength. Students will study the variables that create resonance of a string. They will learn to sketch interference patterns. They will verify the quality of their data by analyzing a plot of a set of data pairs. The kit includes an AC string vibrator at 60 Hz, string, and an adjustable table clamp pulley. Required but not included are a hooked mass set, support stands, meter stick, and a balance. In this activity, students will investigate how the velocity of a wave on a string is affected by various factors, some of them being the tension in the string, represented by the mass on the end, the linear density of the string that you're using, and also the distance between the string vibrator and the pulley. Students can also investigate how waves either combine constructively or destructively. If you only have a specific mass on there, you're not going to create a standing wave because the propagating wave and the reflected wave are not in phase with each other, so they do not create a standing wave at all. If you have it in the wrong position, you will create a flat line. If you get it in the right position, you will create that standing wave, therefore showing very good constructive interference between the two wave patterns.